So, do the police have the right to order you to take a blood alcohol test? The Supreme Court took up that question today, and Jan Crawford is there. Blood and breath tests have become a key tool in fighting drunk driving. But are police now going too far? Typically, the government can suspend a suspected drunk driver's license for refusing to take a blood alcohol test. But 14 states now impose harsher criminal penalties. Police can perform the test without a warrant and lock up those who refuse. Government attorney Kathy Keena. Especially in those smaller jurisdictions where there are only one or two officers and you're requiring them now to get a warrant in every situation, not only is the public safety on the road going to be affected, but just public safety in general. Some justices were sympathetic. Justice Sam Alito, the reason why people don't want to submit to a blood alcohol test is that they don't want their blood alcohol measured. But other justices clearly were troubled, especially by laws that can force someone to take a blood test. Justice Sonia Sotomayor called the laws a very drastic change. Do we dispense with a very important requirement in our law that before you search, particularly the inside of a person with a needle or in an intrusive way, that you get a warrant? Now, critics of these laws say that is pure government overreach, Scott, and that police could get a warrant when they're transporting the drunk driving suspect to the hospital for the blood test. Jan Crawford at the court, thanks.